This is complicated. Let's see if I can get it all straight. Miss Kitchen was charged in file. <coughs> Do these in chronological order. File 24716OT with driving a vehicle with a suspended license and no valid operator's license in the village of White Pigeon on April 30th of 2024. Then just a short time later on May 4th of 2024, she was driving a vehicle once again, charged with driving with a suspended license. Then in, I guess May 4th, once again, <clears throat> I think it's part of the same case as we determined, she was charged with possession of methamphetamine and driving suspended. Um, she pled the use of methamphetamine. There was another time that she drove. She drove on December 27th of 2023, <clears throat> failed to stop after a collision, no operator's license. That matter was dismissed as part of this plea agreement. She also got stopped in February of 2024, and they only charged her with no proof of insurance. Then I learned that there was a methamphetamine undertone to this, and I told the defendant that I was going to have her tested when I saw her today. Um, I, she pled to driving suspended and one use of methamphetamine charge. Um, I gave her a PR bond, let her out of jail. Um, she also pled to no ops, no proof of insurance and speeding and file 24716. Uh, Autumn Kiefer is here, and I asked her to do the drug testing for me. How did we do on this one? She was positive for methamphetamine and marijuana. She does admit to using methamphetamine for the past week. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Mr. George, what would you like me to know here? Thank you, Your Honor. Well, we had a number of matters that were in front of the court, and I know that um, you know, my client wanted to get everything resolved so that we could stop running away from this, come in, take responsibility for it and move on. Um, but, you know, in, in our last conversation, we had the new complaint that uh, alleged possession of methamphetamine, which she pled to use. I think that kind of crystallized what was going on with her. Um, she has some struggles that she's dealing with and compounding it with that methamphetamine use. Um, so, you know, all in all, I think that she would benefit uh, from a term of probation. You know, she has a lot of outstanding fines and costs that would give her the opportunity to help to try to pay those off. Also access Pivotal and other resources to try to address this issue before it becomes something um, that just dominates uh, her life. She's still very young, um, so she can make the decision on which way to go. Um, I know that one of the issues that she's been talking to me about is uh, when the vehicle was towed after the stop, a lot of her personal effects were in there, including her ID, social security card. But I believe that she had bought the vehicle from an individual, but the title was never transferred. Um, so she doesn't have the ability to access that. So that's kind of added to the, to the mountain of issues that she's dealing with. But she understands that she's not going to be able to drive for a while. Um, she needs to take a break from that, uh, you know, take responsibility for her actions that have kind of put her license in peril. But I think first and foremost, she needs to address this methamphetamine issue and get some of those resources that she can think clearly, be happy and healthy, and then move on and, and try to rebuild her life. Thank you. I couldn't figure out what I was dealing with until I learned the methamphetamine was in the picture. And then maybe it made more sense. Um, as we saw, she was driving with a suspended license in December. She drove with a suspended license or no license in February. She drove again in April. She drove again in May. And in May, she had methamphetamine in her possession. 
uh, she has a bunch of these little ancillary things. Uh, like no proof of insurance and no proof of registration and that sort of got left in there. She was, I wasn't clear on the February incident, February 14th, because the state police didn't charge her with no ops or driving suspended. They just gave her some tickets, <laughs> which she didn't pay. Um, she was working at Pizza Hut. Is that right? Yes, but uh, I lost my job pretty much really shortly after the last time I was here. Okay. Where are you living now? I'm still living at my mother's house. Where are your kids? They live with me. You knew that I was going to test you for methamphetamine today, and you couldn't not use. Um, I had another woman today that I told her I was going to test her, and she managed to not use at least long enough to test negative. You can't stop. And this is, I don't know how you're paying for it. I think all your money was going to methamphetamine, and you just keep driving. Um, so let's take care of this 716, no valid operator's license. How much jail credit do we have here? I could, I let you out of jail. On it. Then you didn't appear on a last pretrial and we had to pick you up and you really were not tracking real straight. Got arrested on... June 6th, and I let you out on June 6th. Miss Kitchen, your driver's license is going to be way suspended for all these traffic matters. On the 24746, I went to Pizza Hut on Friday. It was very good. Take out. Remember, one day, credit one day, leaving zero days to serve them or waive the fine and cost in that case. They used to suspend your driver's license for use of controlled substance charges, which they don't anymore, which is fine with me. It isn't really related. This felony methamphetamine charge was reduced to a misdemeanor. Put you on probation. I guess we can try 7411 on. I think she's eligible for it. Um, she had another case that got dismissed, but it wasn't drug related. <clears throat> There's zero fine. You owe enough money as it is. $75 crime victims rights fee, a $50 state minimum fee, $150 attorney fee and $960 probation oversight fee. I expect you'll do that in a year, so it'll save money. 125, 125 plus 150 plus 960 is 1,236. All these bonds are PR bonds. Keep letting you out of jail. <clears throat> came in and presented yourself on a warrant. So I think there's only one day credit. We're gonna do substance abuse counseling and treatment as directed, no alcohol, no drugs, and no methamphetamine. Are you seeing Pivotal now? Um, I don't I don't go to Pivotal. I, I have therapy that I do once a week. But Who's it with? That's through Heartstone Guidance Center in Grand Rapids. Right, well, it's well. online. All right, and you need more than that. No drugs, no controlled substances, and submit to chemical test on demand. I'm over 31 days in jail, credit one. You're going to jail right now for 30 days and have some forced clean time to start this off. You can't stop using methamphetamine and you're killing yourself. You're doing a terrible disservice to your children and it 
impairs your judgment to the fact that you just keep driving with no license. I haven't been driving since I got arrested. Well, that's a good thing. That was the five times before that is what caused the problems. But you're going to jail right now to get some forced clean time, start this probation on a positive note. You can go with the court office. My daughter's about to start school, man. Take you to school, Shelby. Yes, I don't enjoy this at all, Miss Kitchen, but this is on you. You can go with the court officer. What do you want to try to understand? What? Probation violation or? No, it's a sentence that? on a use of methamphetamine charge. <laughs> All right, we have one more to do, uh, which is amazing how much we've done. This would be uh, Mr. Thomas Burgess.